Hi, Dave here. I'm the training and outreach manager for Robos Footwear. Obos is really lucky. We partner with some amazing retailers. They spend a lot of time and energy developing expertise and training their staff, particularly when it comes to boot fitting. These are unprecedented times, and unfortunately, most of us are not able to take advantage of that expertise in person. However, retailers are getting really creative. They can take you shopping through the store virtually on an app like FaceTime, they can deliver your order curbside, or simply just chat over the phone. So what I'm gonna do today is share some tips and some tools so that you can most effectively communicate with your retailer over the phone or virtually. Now this is not meant to be a replacement for an in-person expert fitting. However, considering the current circumstances, we feel like this will be a pretty effective tool in getting you a very good fit. You will need a few tools. First, a pen. A marker is best, but any pen will work. Some sort of measuring device, tape measure or ruler. A straight edge, you can use a piece of cardboard, a magazine, a ruler, or whatever you have on hand. Then you're gonna need a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper that's large enough to trace both of your feet. Last thing you need is your cell phone or a digital camera. Let's get started by taking a tracing of your feet. You wanna measure both left and right. This is important because a lot of us have significant differences between the two. We also want to use a standing measurement so your feet are completely weighted when we're sizing for oboes. As you're tracing around your feet, if you get a two or three millimeter blip here or there, it's not gonna throw off the process. Just get as close as you can. When your tracing is complete, you're gonna take three measurements. You want to go from the back of the heel to the longest toe. Use your straight edge and draw a line. The second measurement is width. So at the widest point of the foot, you wanna start at the bump on the inside of the ball of your foot and measure to the other side. If this is at an angle, that's okay. The third measurement that you can take is arch length. And this one's a little bit more complicated, but this will help your retailer not only size the shoe properly for the length of your foot, but also make sure that it flexes in the right place under the ball of your foot where your foot is flexing. So you go from the ball of the foot, and some of us have a very prominent ball of the foot, others don't. So if you don't have a prominent bump on there, put your foot back onto the tracing and put the pin and make a little mark where your foot flexes. Okay, from that point to the back of the heel is what you wanna measure. A good retailer can take the tape measure readings that you get and translate it onto what's called a Brannock device. And this is a very effective tool for sizing shoes. Now, if there's a brand that's a little bit larger or smaller than what's called true to size, your retailer can usually accommodate for that. They have a very deep knowledge of all the styles and all the brands on their wall. The next step is to take a profile photo of your foot. Take your camera and get it as vertical as possible and take a photo from the outside and the inside of your foot. This will help your retailer see your foot shape and determine volume. Next step is to get your arch profile. This one's simple. All you have to do is get the bottom of your foot wet, stand on either the sidewalk or a piece of cardboard, and before that dries, snap a photo of it. And what that will do is show the retailer how high or how low your arch profile is. Now that you have all your measurements, you're ready to call your retailer. But before you do, take a little bit of time to make a list of any injuries or history that you might wanna share. Examples could be bunions, plantar fasciitis, broken bones, surgeries, anything that you think might help them. If you need help going through the process, definitely email or call us at Obos. We're always here to help you. 
We hope that you're safely enjoying the outdoors and able to connect with nature in whatever way possible. If you're confined indoors, please follow us on social media and on our blog. We'll try to keep you as informed, inspired, and entertained as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Thank you.